Tennis isn't just about serving great backhands or winning titles at the French Open. It's also about what the tennis greats are putting into their bodies. Even the world's best tennis player, Novak Djokovic, would be nowhere without his diet. So what is it that these tennis players are eating that makes them play so well on the court? Let's look at some of their diets. Everyone thinks of Novak Djokovic as the fittest player of all time, but he couldn't have gotten there if he hadn't decided to completely change his diet in 2010. Obviously thought that I was eating well in up to 2010, but you know, I wasn't. I, I... When the Serbian tennis player first turned pro in 2003, his rise to the top wasn't as quick as the others. By 2007, he'd managed to reach number three, but then he lost in the US Open against Roger Federer. Even when the Serb got his first Grand Slam title in 2008, it was clear he was struggling to keep standing his ground on the court. Novak was so prone to mid-match collapses that people wondered how fit he was. The turning point was when he played Joe Wilfred Sanga in the quarterfinals of the 2010 Australian Open. Even though he was up two sets to one, he had trouble breathing, felt weak, and furiously threw up during a bathroom break. Novak Djokovic ended up losing the match, so he knew he had to fix his problems if he wanted to keep playing long matches. Before the 2010 Australian Open, I had a lot of problems on the court. Even though I trained hard, I felt like I was running out of gas, he said. He visited a doctor who did tests that showed he was sensitive to wheat and dairy products. That's when he decided that the best course of action was a completely vegetarian diet full of beans, seeds, fruit, and healthy oils. If you're putting poisons and toxins in your body, how can you expect to, uh, that your car to work well? It might not have been the only thing that made him a tennis powerhouse, but it was definitely a huge part of it. He's currently ranked world number one in the ATP rankings and has won more than 20 Grand Slam men's titles. That's huge! But Djokovic isn't the only tennis player who decided to completely change his diet. Andy Murray's transformation was much more drastic, from being a skinny teenager to becoming the muscular tennis player we see today. People think, why is it important? It's just tennis. When Murray first turned pro in 2005, he was only 18 and nowhere close to the physique we see today. He came as a wild card to the Wimbledon that year. Even though he was placed 312th, in his second match, he beat Radek Stepanek. He never looked back after that. But the British tennis player knew that playing well once wasn't enough. That's why Murray got a full-time personal trainer and worked on his body more. He started building muscle in his upper body on purpose to become a powerhouse who could beat the fastest serves in the world. But of course, it wasn't enough just to hit the gym. Because of how hard he works out, Murray needs to eat 6,000 calories a day to stay in shape. He eats six times a day to keep his energy up. He starts the day with a protein shake, then he has a muffin and yogurt. Murray told Men's Health last year, I used to drink a lot of shakes, banana, blackberry, yogurt, and maybe some orange juice, but I was told that was too much sugar. Now it has a lot more spinach and kale. It seems to be a lot better for you. It's not as nice, but I don't mind. For the rest of his meals, he has to stick to a mix of proteins like red meat and fish and lots of complex carbs like pasta, rice, and leafy vegetables. The best part is that he doesn't eat processed foods or sugar at all. Murray will always eat within 30 minutes of the end of a match. This is so that his muscles don't start to waste away. You gotta feed him. The British tennis player consciously decided to change his diet, but Venus Williams had to make the switch because of a health issue. In 2011, Venus Williams found herself facing a major hurdle in her tennis career. The diagnosis of Sjogren's syndrome threatened to put a halt on her formidable game. With dry eyes, joint pain, and fatigue holding her back, Williams had to make a change, but she didn't let the setback define her. Along with proper treatment, she embarked on a raw vegan diet that would transform her life. When talking about her change in diet in an interview, the American tennis player said, it completely transformed my pace of life. I mean, everything changed, sure. There were challenges along the way, but it's all about facing them head on and emerging victorious. For Venus, it's not just about the physical nourishment she gets from food, but also how she feels proud of making healthier choices. She said that, there's something about when you're eating healthy food, it makes you feel proud, it makes you feel like you're doing the right thing. When you eat unhealthy, there's a certain guilt about it. You know it's going to catch up with you. I love that feeling when I eat healthy. As far as her sweet tooth is concerned, she chooses to drink orange smoothies rather than eat processed food. 
Venus is a tennis great who's won seven Grand Slam titles and four Olympic gold medals. She's probably one of the most successful and inspiring women in the history of sports, and it's clear that her diet helped her get to the top. And my motivation now is to win. In the same way, Taylor Fritz had a good start to his career thanks to his size and athletic physique. In an interview, the world top 10 player revealed that he adjusts his diet during Grand Slam tournaments to prepare for potential long matches. But normally, Fritz starts his day with cold water to boost his metabolism and follows it with a breakfast rich in protein. He takes optimum nutrition pre-workout and drinks water right before he works out. After working out, he has a protein shake and strive beef sticks as protein snacks throughout the day. He's a bigger player who burns a lot of calories, so he stresses how important it is to get protein from more than just shakes. What he eats for lunch depends on how busy his day has been. If he hasn't burned many calories, he might choose a salad with beans and double chicken or steak. But if he's been working hard all day, he might choose a carb-heavy bowl from Chipotle to get his energy back. It looks like Chipotle is a frequent staple in his diet. He said that, for me, the lunches depend on the workout for the day. You know, if it's like a really tough workout, then I might get something a little heavier, like a Chipotle bowl. As a professional tennis player, he has to maintain his weight while building muscle and burning fat. Taylor isn't strict about cheat days, though. He believes that, I think it's just healthier to just eat some cheat meals here and there. It's really important. Speaking of not being strict with your diet, Roger Federer's diet is one that most people would enjoy. The secret to the legendary tennis player and multiple Grand Slam champion's success was his daily diet. Although he's retired now, during his early years, Federer was a vegetarian by choice until the age of 14 when he started incorporating meat into his diet during tennis camps. Back then, his typical breakfast included homemade waffles with fruit cocktails, fresh juice, coffee, or a shot of vinegar. Fondue and rocolate, two famous Swiss cheese dishes, were among his indulgences. Federer also had a fondness for Indian, Japanese, and Italian cuisine, often enjoying naan, curries, and sweet treats like ice cream and chocolates in moderation. When it came to match preparation, Federer used to stick to a consistent routine that served him well for over two decades. Beyond his athletic endeavors, Federer was known for his love of food. Pizza held a special place in his heart with a personalized creation featuring fresh figs, parma ham, arugula, and white truffle cheese cream from the player's restaurant. Chocolate was another guilty pleasure that he enjoyed. Federer's approach to nutrition struck a balance between pleasure and discipline. While he allowed himself to savor his favorite dishes, he also emphasized moderation and mindful eating. I like my ice cream and I like my chocolate, he said in 2017. That's my diet. I like my treats. I don't feel bad about it, and I can do it and play tennis at the same time. The diet served him well right up until he retired. From occasionally indulging in treats like ice cream and chocolate like Federer, to radically changing your diet the way Novak Djokovic and Venus Williams did, this is what tennis players eat and what keeps them going on the court.